Listen, I understand it's been a while, and I apologize for it being so long since I've made a video and posted a full video. We've had some pretty bad weather in Utah lately. Most of the snow has melted away, um, but I mean, I'll throw a picture here of what the Forester was parked right here, and with all the snow, it was insane. I haven't been able to work on any cars or do anything fun. So we did this last year, and we're gonna do this this year. We're gonna do a 2023 plans for cars and the builds. I have lots and lots of things planned. I think the camera's dirty. First off, recently, the things that have happened, um, my management almost caught itself on fire in the Audi. So right now my management in my trunk setup looks horrible because of everything that just happened. So this is what the trunk looks like right now. Um, my wiring right here for the compressor, that goes straight to the compressor, all of this was tucked underneath this floorboard, including this. And I think what happened, I bought this management secondhand used, and the wiring was kind of jank, and I just never took the time to fix it like I should have, and that's my fault. But I did, I think the two wires touched right here underneath there somehow, and it overloaded the system. It blew the fuse up, which is right here. It blew the fuse up and um, burned and singed all this wiring. Like it was sketchy. I don't know why the fuse that I have in line didn't pop and prevent this, but it didn't. So uh, luckily I had another relay. I cut out all the bad wiring and then rewired it together um, with some heat shrink over it. So that way none of the wires can ever touch and I just don't have a heat gun to actually like heat shrink this all together. So I have to finish all that. And so the Audi 2023. What we have going on, if any of you follow me on TikTok or Instagram or Facebook, you would know the Audi is going to be one of the main builds this year. I had a company, a wheel company reach out to me and ask to sponsor me for 2023 for the car. And so I went ahead and did it. The wheels are getting made right now and they should be here in the next week. So we'll have a video of that coming out. And we're also gonna be doing a lug conversion on the Audi because these are lug bolts. They're not lug nuts. There's no studs on the actual hub. These are actual bolts. So this is gonna convert that from lug bolts to lug nuts originally and have studs out of the hub and lug nuts on the hub and everything. Uh, I can't reveal what the new wheels are gonna be yet, obviously, so we gotta wait till those get here. The Lamborghini side skirts are going to be staying. This front splitter obviously has to go because look how destroyed it is from the winter. I'm actually gonna take it off right now. I need a new splitter. Comment down below ideas because I don't know what to do. I don't know if I get the same splitter or get one that's actually meant for the car because this is off of an RS3. I don't know. Audi also needs tint all the way around. It doesn't look like that. Go right here. There's no tint on this front window. Rear windows, dark. Front windows, no tint. Audi needs tint. Interior wise, Audi doesn't really need much. I'm gonna leave the interior pretty much stock. Maybe do some carbon bits here and there. Only interior mod I have right now is the Alcantara D-shaped wheel. And it's not straight, which has always bothered me. So as soon as I get the new wheels and tires and all that set up on, I'm gonna go redo an alignment, make sure the wheel and steering wheel straight next time. I think I need new LED headlights because these ones suck. And one of the brights that I got was a dud. So only one of my brights has worked since I did the LED lights. And then back here, this LED light on this side has stopped working. This side works, this side doesn't work. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. There's lots and lots of little tiny things here and there, but we're gonna have to get a camper kit for the Audi as well. The car's gonna go a lot more camber. Um, do a full exhaust on the Audi, probably tune it, maybe do a big turbo this year, we'll see. I kinda wanna do a big turbo on it, but I get nervous because Euro cars. We're gonna sit down for this one because this car's not here. Granda, the Forester, it's not here at the house. Um, that car is going to, coming back today, actually. I'm gonna be finished filming a video. The reason I haven't had a video for you guys is so long is my Forester got hit at a car meet, as you know, and I've been filming a video fixing the car and getting the fender painted. I'm gonna have that painted professionally, obviously. The place that I took it said it was gonna be a couple days, and then we had a huge snowfall. A lot of people wrecked their cars, and the body shop my fender was at had to kind of, they were doing me a favor, so they kind of put it on the back burner because everyone was wrecking their cars in the snow, and they kept having to fix a bunch of cars, but it's done. I'm going to pick it up today. Car's coming out tonight. Finished filming that video. It'll be out in a few days. What's up for that car though? That car hasn't had fog lights forever because one of my fog lights shattered months and months ago, the beginning of summer. So I actually have a new fog light and we're gonna be putting the fog lights back in the bumper. The front bumper still needs to be all torn down and repainted. 
We're going to be repainting all of the plastics on the car so everything matches because the plastics are a little sun faded because the car is like 22, 23 years old. Now the front bumper has always been a little darker and the lip kit was always a little darker than the rest because that stuff was brand new painted and everything else is 20 something years old. So we're going to repaint all the plastic so it all matches perfectly one color. We're going to be building clear taillights for the Forester. Um, I've got um, some miscellaneous pieces here and there, some engine bay dress up stuff. I have a new radiator for it because I've been running the stock Forest radiator ever since we did the STI swap. And I need that needs to change badly because the car did not last last summer. It was not good. If you watched the videos last summer, last year, you would know that every single time I took it on the freeway, I had to throw the heat on, like going to Idaho and stuff. So the car wouldn't overheat because that radiator is not meant for an STI engine. Now we have a radiator that's going to be meant for the STI engine. We have a bunch of engine bay dress up parts. We have a new AC compressor. That way we're going to actually have AC in the car. I'm going to have to rerun all the AC lines, charge the AC. That's going to be a pain. A full custom color matched harnesses for the car. I have the driver's side in, which I didn't film because I was... I don't know why I didn't film, but I still have to do the passenger side. So if you guys want to see me wrap harnesses in the Forester, you can comment down below and I'll make a video of wrapping the passenger side seat for you guys. Um, we got the harness bar fire extinguisher. I want to find a rear bumper lip or like a rear, different rear spats because I'm going to be lowering the car more by cutting some things in the front to get the car to tuck wheel in the front. And I can't run a front lip if I do that because just the bumper will lay all the way on the ground. So I want to find a different, I don't like the rear spats without a front lip because it makes the car look like a mullet, in my opinion. I think the rear spats are too tall and too, and like to come off the bumper too far. It makes the car look like it has a mullet. So I want to find something different for the rear bumper to make it kind of flow a little better. We're going to leave the side skirts, maybe add STI side skirts on there with the extensions. ROM is going to be up for sale in the next couple months because we are going to be starting another build this year. Yes, another car. We're buying another car. We're going to be selling the Grom here in a few months to buy that car. And that build is going to be is a build that I have been wanting to do for over a year now. And I am so beyond excited for how this next build is going to do. But main focus right now for the beginning of the season is going to be the Audi and the Forester, making sure those cars are 100% done and put back together 100% and ready. There is one surprise modification to the Audi that I will be doing that I haven't told a single soul that is going to happen. And it will be revealed at a car show. I'm not 100% sure which car show, but it will be revealed at a car show beginning of this year, depending on which one I go to. The car is registered for Scrape Fest. Both the cars are registered for Scrape Fest. None of them have been approved because, you know, politics, uh, the car scene here in Utah is 100% politics. You don't win awards unless you know the person running the show. It's not about cars. It's about knowing the right people. And that is part of the reason why I so openly hate the car scene here. Because 90% of everyone who has a cool car are a-holes. I try to have cool stuff, but I also try to be nice to all of you guys. Because every single person that I met coming into the car scene when I started first doing this, was they were complete dickheads to me. Everyone was assholes to me. And they all still are because they think that bolt-on suspension wheels and a wrap are a lot cooler than a big turbo STI soft Forester that's not on 20-year-old wheels that they overpaid for in leak air. So we're not going to keep going into that. Some of you guys have also commented and been wondering why I'm not back at my apartment that I was living at. And I can't really get into that. Uh, the only thing I will say about that is I was forced to leave due to things that were of not my fault and not my choice so we'll leave it at that we'll be finding a new spot this year um hopefully in the next six months i think hopefully we will have a new spot maybe whether that's a warehouse to work on cars whether that's a new house or apartment to work on cars or both kind of depends where this year goes something that we are starting this year that i've already started on my website, I will link it down below. We have my website, mrcleanmax.com for all my clothing and stickers and stuff. We're also doing this year, which I've already posted about, is an Amazon storefront. So any of you guys that have ever wondered where I get my car parts, and I get so many DMs. I mean, literally, I get DMs every single day about what they should buy for their car, first modifications for the car, all of that. What I have created is an Amazon storefront where I will link it down below. You can click on that and all the photos that you're going to see on there, you can click on the photos and I have linked all of the parts that I have bought for that car. Literally the parts that I own currently are on my cars currently. I have linked in there for you to buy if 
you're looking for those parts. And if there's anything in there that you are looking for that you cannot find, go ahead and shoot me a DM on Instagram at MrClean underscore Max, and I will find it for you, link it there for you, so you can go buy that part. Also be creating like a collection of my favorite parts that I might not own, or my favorite parts that I do own that I think everyone should have on their cars. Like this Broadway mirror that clips on around the stock mirror, I think is a must for any car I have ever owned. I love this so much. Or the squash air fresheners that I have in the Forester. I love those so much. I'm going to link things like that that I think everyone should have that I do have um, in a little collection of accessories as well. And you guys can go buy stuff like that. Go check it out. It's linked down below. Before we end this off, we have the bagged Grom right here in the garage full of random stuff from my apartment. We have right here my radiator. I know it's a Mishimoto radiator that's in a Koyo Rad box. It's, I got it used. So we have the radiator in here. Got my new AC compressor that's gonna go in the Forester so we can have AC. Down here, we have the old fog light, the new fog light. In here, we have some things I also don't wanna show yet. But this is the stud conversion. So what happens with these is these will screw into the hub like the bolts do and then leave stud out and then we can have lug nuts which I have right here I don't want to show yet. These are the lug nuts. I'm gonna have to retint those both fog lights so they're both the same color yellow. So that's a secret piece that I can't show yet. So we have new yellow tint to do both those. We have a new tint strip, cool little radiator cap, and a few other goodies in here that I can't show either. Before we end off this video, I see we go take off that destroyed front splitter off the Audi because I'm sick of looking at it. Dude, for the life of me, I cannot figure out why my tank leaks. I have taken the tank apart like six times and it still leaks and I still can't figure it out and it is so aggravating. Add that to the list of things I need to do this year because freaking hell, I'm so sick of this. If I remember right, it's just a bunch of 10 mils. All done. It came off in a bunch of pieces because it was so destroyed, but all done. This happened. Jeez, what? Oh my gosh. We'll get another lip, but that's better than the broken one. So we're gonna end this video. First video of 2023, first official YouTube video of 2023, I believe. Everyone, thanks for watching. Peace out.